Hello, people of Gotham. This is the Riddler speaking. On Halloween night, I killed your mayor because he was not who he pretended to be. But I am not done. Here is another who will soon be losing face. I will kill again and again until the day of judgment when the truth about our city will finally be unmasked. Goodbye. You came. Me. I'm nobody. I'm just an instrument here to unmask the truth about this cesspool we call a city. Yes. Let's do it together, okay? I've been trying to reach you. You're part of this too. You'll see. Say hello to my followers. We're live. They're here to watch our little trial. At the moment, the man across from you, Mr. Coulson, is dead. But, no, wait, shut up! You deserve to be dead for what you did. You hear me? <laughs> I'm giving you a chance. No one ever gave me a chance. Now, ever since I was a child, I've always loved little puzzles. For me, they're a retreat from the horrors of our world. Maybe they can bring some comfort to you too, Mr. Coulson. Yes! Three riddles in two minutes. You give me the answers, and I'll give you the code for the lock. Do you understand? Riddle number one. It can be cruel, poetic, or blind. But when it's denied, it's your violence, you may find. Yes! Justice! And you were supposed to be an arm of justice in this city, along with the late mayor and police commissioner, were you not, Mr. Coulson? Riddle number two. If you are justice, please do not lie. What is the price for your blind eye? 58 seconds! Okay, okay, okay. Don't lose your head, Mr. Coulson. Just one more riddle before your time runs out. Last riddle. Since your justice is so select, please tell us which vermin you're paid to protect. 20 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, bye. 20 years ago, one reporter set out to uncover the truth. And when the reporter refused, Wayne turned to longtime secret associate Carmine Falcone and had him murdered. The Waynes and the Arkhams. Gotham's legacy of lies and murder. I hope you're listening, Bruce Wayne. This is your legacy, too. And Gotham needs you to answer for the sins of your father. Goodbye. Told you I'd see you in hell. What? Oh, if only you knew how long I've been waiting for this day. For this moment, I've been invisible my whole life. Well, I guess I won't be anymore, will I? They'll remember me now. They'll remember both of us. Bruce. Bruce.
you know I was there that day. Today, the great Thomas Wayne announced he was running for mayor and made all those promises. Well, a week later, he was dead and everybody just forgot about us. All they could talk about was poor Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne, the orphan. Orphan. Living in some tower over the park isn't being an orphan. Looking down on everyone with all that money. Don't you tell me. Do you know what being an orphan is? It's third kids to a room. Twelve years old and already a drophead numbing the pain. You wake up screaming with rats chewing your fingers. And every winter, one of the babies dies because it's so cold. But oh no, let's talk about the billionaire with the lying dead daddy because at least the money makes it go down easy, doesn't it? Bruce Wayne. He's the only one we didn't get. But we got the rest of them, didn't we? Those slick, Sleazy, phony pricks. God. Look at you. Your mask is amazing. I wish you could have seen me in mine. Isn't it funny? All everyone wants to do is unmask you, but they're missing the point. You and I both know. I'm looking at the real you right now. My mask allowed me to be myself completely. No shame, no limits. What do you mean? I told you, you're a part of this too. We've been doing this together. Yes, we did. What did we just do? I asked you to bring him into the light and you did. We're such a good team. I never could have gotten him out there. I'm not physical. My strength is up here. I mean, I had all the pieces. I had the answers, but I didn't know how to get them to listen. You gave me that. You showed me what was possible. You showed me all it takes is fear and a little focused violence. You inspired me. What? How can you say that? No. No, 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 no. No. Oh, this is not how this is supposed to go. I had it all planned out. We were going to be safe here. We could watch the whole thing together. Everything. It was all there. You mean you didn't figure it out? I guess I gave you too much credit. What's black and blue and dead all over? If you think you can stop what's coming. Hey guys, thanks for all the comments, and special thanks for the tips on detonators, and this will be my last post for a little while, and what this community has meant to me these weeks, these months, let's just say none of us is alone anymore, okay? <laughs> Tomorrow's election day, <laughs> and Bella Real will win. She promised real change. But we know the truth, don't we? You've seen Gotham's true face now. Together we've unmasked it. It's corruption. It's perversion. Masquerading under the guise of renewal. But unmasking is not enough. 
The day of judgment is finally upon us. And now it is time for retribution. I've parked seven vans all along the city seat. And on the big night, they will. When the vans blow, the flooding will happen so fast, evacuation will not be an option. Those who are not washed away will race through the streets in terror. 